It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Board of Education met Friday afternoon at 4.30 in a special call meeting. Personnel on the agenda, after an hour and a half behind closed doors, came back to regular session and announced that the board and school superintendent, Dr. Sean Kelly, have agreed to end his employment as Wayne County School Superintendent. Here was Chairman Bruce Harris announcing the agreement reached in the vote that took place on Thursday afternoon. motion to well this is agreement with the board i'll read the motion uh, the board would like to enact the buyout provision in dr kelly's contract uh, to sever his employment contract uh, this is uh will be determined on uh, he has the paperwork that we've given him and he deserves a chance to read it and, and go through it and make sure that he agrees with it and that everything i think it does and he's thinks it will as well. Uh, so we have that motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? Let's call for the vote. Mr. Harris? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Yarbrough? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Wise? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Mosley? Yes, ma'am. And once again, a unanimous vote to end Dr. Kelly's employment. All the paperwork expected to be finalized by this Tuesday. Dr. Kelly spoke after the vote and had these comments. When I got here, and I've always said that I serve at the pleasure of the five people sitting in those chairs, and they have every right to have the person sitting in this chair that they wish to have. And so I am not bitter. Uh, it has been a great experience. Um, I thank you, Mr. Ellis, and members of the initial board who brought me on. Uh, we have great people here, and I just hope that uh, you support them in a manner that they deserve to be supported. They work hard, very hard, for your children. My child's not here. They work hard for your children every day. And uh, we certainly appreciate the support that we get. We certainly appreciate the people that are with us. And uh, it has been a pleasure. And uh, go Jackets. <laughs> and again, those comments of Dr. Kelly, all the board members. And for a service, Chairman Bruce Harris got emotional and had these comments. Boy, being, I wasn't expecting to sit in this chair, uh, but you kind of kept me from, from uh, drowning several times when I would look over and say, what do I do now? And I, I feel like uh, you made me a better board member. Thank you Once again, everything is expected to be finalized and paper signed by Tuesday. Decisions need to be made on who steps in while the search begins for Wayne County's next school superintendent. No announcement on that on Friday at the meeting. And all this coming after last Tuesday's meeting in which former CFO Tony Williams gave the Board of Education a report on the school's financial situation of the past several years. And again, that report was not a good report with a lot of alarms going off and a lot of missteps concerning the budgets and audits. Information given to the State Board of Education simply not the same information given to the local Board of Education. After a report, the board went into executive session in which Dr. Kelly left the executive session and the board met 20 minutes behind closed doors without him. And that was the beginning at the end of Dr. Kelly's employment with the Wayne County School System. Board member Todd Wise at that meeting asked Tony Williams during the presentation had she been given all the information she needed for her report, to which she stated no. After Tuesday's executive session, an announcement later in the week that a call board meeting had been called for Friday. Now the Friday meeting has been taking place, and again, Dr. Kelly and the board are agreeing to part ways. Decisions have to be made on which direction the school system will be heading after Kelly's paperwork is finalized. The board has to have someone step in temporarily while the search for the next school superintendent begins. And the question remains, what else is the fallout from former CFO's Tony Williams report? As the report did not name names, but pointed to several employees who simply failed in their duties. And WIFL Family will continue to follow the story as it develops. Again, but Friday, the board and superintendent parting ways. Again, everything has been agreed upon. Everything should be finalized, they state, by this coming Tuesday. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. 
community-wide blood drive taking place today at the Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. Again, this is sponsored by the Jesuit Shriners Ladies Auxiliary. The time from 1 to 6 p.m. Again, walk-ins are welcome. That's taking place today at Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. Qualifying for that special election, the city of Odom took place last week, and the fact that only Greg Leggett qualified to run for mayor and Joshua Griffin was the only candidate to qualify for the vacant city council seat. The city of Odom will not have to hold a special election. A date soon will be announced, and both will be sworn into office and begin serving. Leggett has been serving as the active mayor since the resignation of former mayor Greg Rozier. Griffin will be new to the board of commissioners, but again, no special election in November for the city of Odom. County still has their election in November for that county commissioner seat, currently held by Jamie Hickox, who opted on to seek re-election. Two candidates on the ballot in November will be Randy Franks and Princess Dow in that race in November. Wayne County Commissioner is set to meet Thursday. They've got a work session at 4 p.m. before the regular meeting that evening. The work sessions discuss the possible additional budget items and discuss the election board. Then the meeting set for 6 p.m. Thursday at the County Commissioner's Meeting Room on the agenda under Citizens Concerns. Kenny Fuller talked about a street light placed at Seminole Wood and Shrine Club Road, a public hearing on closing and abandoning L.J. Anderson Road. Under new business, EMS Director Patrick Parson on hand to consider and approve changes to the EMS policy and also to consider and approve purchase of life pack cardiac monitors. Mitch Sutton with the airport on hand to discuss the precision approach path indicator and consider and approve closing and abandoning L.J. Anderson Road on the agenda. Consider and approve bids for the Ag Complex concession stand. Consider and approve contract with Heart of Georgia Ultima Regional Commission for services with the Wayne County Transit. Consider and approve refunding the Community Development Block Grant account. Consider and approve voting delegate for ACCG Legislative Leadership Conference. Vote to set county's millage rate and approve resolution to levy both county and school board's millage. Consider and approve share of equal purchase. Consider and approve lake race rental agreement. Consider and approve resolution for election board. Consider and approve EMS vehicle purchase. Engineer Brandon Purcell on hand to consider and approve final plat for Flint Branch duplex subdivision. And Director Richard Lamar Eccles on the agenda to consider and approve update on pickleball courts. Also consider and approve 2025 budget for general fund, revolving loan fund, and ARP. Items with the administrator, items with the county clerk, items with commissioners, all that set for this Thursday, August 22nd at 6 p.m. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news. This Thursday, August 22nd, is the date for that court hearing for the 11-year-old who faces criminal charges in connection with the death of 8-year-old Noah Bush. 11-year-old faces four charges, involuntary manslaughter, simple battery, criminal trespassing, and concealing the death of another. He'll be back in juvenile court this Thursday morning with his attorney. It's scheduled for courtroom C, once again, the juvenile case. So the media is banned from the courtroom proceedings. Noah Bush's family and attorneys will be on hand as well. Have a full report on Friday's newscast. And beginning Monday, August August 26th in Wayne County Superior Court. Jury selection will begin in the case of the state of Georgia versus Lannis Paul Brown, who is charged with murder in the shooting death of Zachary Johnson, which occurred in Wayne County back on February 3rd, 2023. Superior Court Judge Anthony Harrison will be on the bench. WIFLFM will follow the trial, have reports here on our local news. Once again, jury selection set for Monday, August 26th in courtroom C. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.